<laughs> oh. Oh, we're live. All right. Well, well, well. It has been quite a while since I've streamed. Not only in general, but on this channel. All right, I see some people coming in here. All right, let's 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 let everyone come into the stream. How you doing, everybody? Huh? Oh my goodness. I gotta get to Killer Bleach. I recognize you, M Massa. Uh, Uchiha something or other Craft Spidey. How you doing, everybody? It's good to be back. Oops, I kind of slipped that microphone here. And welcome to the fail box for January 2020. Now, if you guys are new to the show, the fail box is where I open up a bunch of packages sent to my P.O. box. And my P.O. box has been long since closed, so I'm not receiving any fan mail right now. So sorry about that. But I do have a huge backlog that I gotta get into. So... The fail box show will continue until I open up all of those. And I regret to inform you, we're almost done. I think it's like this one and then another fail box at the end of next month. And then we're, th that, that's probably it. I'll probably do some like letter reading corner thing or something because I got so much letters. Anyway, how are you guys doing? It's been a while. Welcome to Jobby2 if you're new here. If you fall, if you know, if you subscribe to here from my toy review last week. How we doing? I know it's February, Nathan Morales, but this is technically for the end of January. So, it's just my, my scheduling is a bit a bit weird. Oh, we got a super chat. Bo, Bo, Bo for gaming. Thank you for five pounds. The big boys are here. That's right. Thank you very much for that. And that reminds me, feel free to donate to the super chat at any time in the stream. Ask me questions. Leave me comments. Little money icon at the bottom of the chat. So, I usually start off with the letters here. So, I will do that. Five random letters as per huge. And then after that, we're going to move on to three random envelopes. Envelopes, however you want to pronounce it. I usually switch back and forth because I can't make up my goddamn mind. And, of course, five random boxes. Okay. Let's get this started first letter of the day comes from eh. Noah Juarez now oh thank you for subscribing now the um, something funny about the fail box uh, recently is that this is basically it, it basically acts as a little time capsule you know a lot of these letters are old probably most of these packages that I opened they probably don't watch me anymore. I made so many changes since I opened up the P.O. box that I probably scared them off. But not you guys. You guys are the real ones. So let's see. Oh, that, that opened up really simply. What do we got here? I'll tell you what we have here. More evidence for the FTC to use against me when they inevitably sue my channel into the ground. That is clearly a child's work. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Well, what can you do? I can't... I, I always say it. I can't control who watches my channel. And because I do toy-related content, it's inevitable that a bunch of kids are gonna watch it. I see a lot of Super Chats here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, let me get through this letter, and then I'll start reading the Super Chats, all right? Thank you very much, by the way. Dear Jobby, my name is Noah Juarez, and I am... 19 years old, never mind. Now, that, that's a big boy, 19 years old. Now, I don't know if I made this clear, but to qualify as a big boy, you gotta be... I usually say 18 or older. Yes, 18 or older. 18 or older is big boy territory. If you're 17 and a half, you're almost there. All right, 19 years old. That, okay. Did anyone expect that to be by a 19 year old? I, I didn't, that's for sure. I am a big fan of your video since after I graduated high school. What I like most about... Use your famous quotes! <laughs> You're gonna see that a lot. Um, 
I'm not the most uh, adept at interpreting archaic runes, aka handwriting. Let's see. Famous quotes such as swivel here and beautiful spread. Keep up the good work. Jobby. From Noah Juarez and Venom says here, We will eat your brains like a turd in the wind. Epic. Thank you very much, Noah. That was a good first letter. Alright. Alright, I gotta balance out the the <laughs> super chats with the with the fail box here. Let's see here. Mad, Mad MXX, thanks for 199. When is this week's review? Uh, no review this week. Sorry about that. I will see you on the main channel next week, though, where we'll be reviewing. Well, if you saw my last review, you know what we'll be reviewing. Jolie King 21, Joe Mama, thank you for an, a Canadian $2. And he just says, hey. Jaden Huang, 199, thank you very much. He says, remember me. Tom the Pussycat, the Gundam enthusiast. With 20 pounds, thank you very much for that. Jobby, can you do the AMA in 4chan's board toy? If they want me, I don't know. Big Fought Poem with $2, thank you. He says, hey, hi-yo. Hi <laughs> Jonathan Priest said, thank you for Canadian $5. Yo, happy to see some failbox goodness. Thanks to your streams, I decided to finally build the Figure Rise War Greymon kit. So thanks for that. Glad you enjoy it. Maximus... Maximus Genitalia. That's, a, that's an excellent name, by the way. Thank you for $2. Your thoughts on traps and futonari? Not my thing, but to each his own. All right. Not very progressive of me. Uh, Golden Marcus, thank you for two pounds. Jobby, have you seen the new Mecha Godzilla? I have not. Okay, and that's the Super Chats for now. Let's move on to our second letter. And what do we got here? No name in this one, but let's open it up and see. Names usually inside written. Uh, okay. Now for those Jobby 2 exclusive subscribers, because I realize a lot of you don't watch the main channel. You're just here for the streams. How are you guys? What have you guys been doing since I've been away, huh? I hope to stream a lot more and a lot more consistently for this year. So look forward to that, I guess. I want to play more games for you. I want to draw occasionally. I haven't been feeling uh, a lot of the, the creative juices for drawing lately, so pardon the lack of drawby streams. But games? Hey, you don't need a brain to play games, right? I'm sorry, that was offensive to gamers. Okay, so we got a letter here. And it says, Dear Jobby the Hong, Hello there. I am Spinozillasaurian, at least on the internet, and I have several questions for you. Awesome. I love these question letters. <laughs> I love answering questions, guys. If you, if you want to ask me questions, feel free to do so. I love asking questions. Number, number one, are you Thai? Yes, I am. I am Thai America. I am ethnically Thai, but the national, national, uh, nationality wise, I am um, American as it gets. Uh, number two, it seems to me you haven't watched any Godzilla movies. Are there any Godzilla movies you have seen? Yes, I have. I have seen... Hold on. I've seen the original Godzilla movie from 1954. I loved it. Shin Godzilla, which I really like. Uh, and the two American ones. Not not the Matthew Broderick, Brad, Broderick one, but, you know, the Gareth Edwards and the... I forget the, the guy's name who directed King of the Monsters, but... Yeah, those are the only Godzilla movies I've, I've really seen. If you want to include the Zilla movie, you can go ahead and do so, but th there you go. There you go. Number three, what is your favorite dinosaur? I'm going to go basic bitch and say the T-Rex. How could you not like T-Rex? If you want a more obscure answer, I'll, I'll give you Iguanodon. You know, g give a thumbs up for Iguanodon. Paleontology jokes. Number four, will you review any Jurassic Park world toys if the algorithm prefers it. Now, you guys might have realized if you're subscribed to the main channel, Jobby the Hong, I've been reviewing a lot of Transformers lately, and I gotta be completely honest with you, the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm loves Transformers. If you wanna see what I mean, 
check out the view disparity between my Voltron review, my vehicle Voltron review, and my not hot rod review. Not rod, as a lot of you called it. And stupidly, I missed the opportunity to call them not rod. Yeah, just compare those two and, and see, see what I mean by that. Not that my decisions are completely based on the algorithm. I will, if, I will, you know, occasionally review something that is not Transformers, but, you know, going forward, mostly Transformers. So to answer this question very simply, maybe. Number five, which is better, NECA or SH Monster Arts? They both got their pros and cons, but if I were going to say overall, I like SH Monster Arts a, a lot more. Just articulation-wise, the, the sculpting is usually a lot sharper than what I see from NECA. NECA I like, but a lot of their figures have this sort of uh, this gummy quality. Do, do you, you know what I mean? Any toy fans out there, any people who know what NECA is, does anyone know what I mean by, by the gummy quality of NECA figures? SH Monster Arts, I like I like SH Monster Arts. I don't like the prices, though. Number six, will you collab with the Geek Chest? I don't even know who that is, but I'm sure they're, they're a great person. Number seven, have you watched Monster Musume? I have not, but I am aware of some of the waifus that come, come out of that show. Um, Mia Best Girl. Eight, are you going to review any alien and or predator figures? I believe I reviewed a few alien figures, but never a predator figure. Might be something to look uh, into because I do like those designs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I swear I don't have a virus. Number nine, could you review the SH Godzilla Phileas or Earth figures? I think I have it. I think I did re uh, receive uh, a few of those figures in my P.O. box. So, you know, that's on the list, man. Godzilla reviews are here to stay, by the way. I mean, it's the damn logo. So there you go. I can't, I can't get rid of Godzilla reviews. Number 10, what is the best and worst figure you have ever reviewed? <clears throat> best figure... There's a lot of options, man. I, I feel like this year has been starting off with me giving the triple kiss to anything that comes my way. I've been really generous with it. But best figure... I don't know. T look up any review I did with a triple kiss and take your pick from there. Worst figure, though, both forms Gladius. Sorry. Thank you for receiving this letter. I hope to see more of your videos from Spinozilla. P.S. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And there is the YouTube channel there if anyone wants to check that out. If they are still posting, I don't know. This letter could be two years old for all I know. Well, that was the second letter. And in that time, did we get any more Super Chats? Yes, we did. Joe Lee King 21. Joe Mama. Thank you for Can another Canadian $5. Thank you. Good job, bro. Make me laugh so hard I'd be swiveled out of here. <laughs> All right. Dan Williams, thank you for two ninety nine. Would you consider doing art commissions? I would could Whoa shit. All right. Thanks, Apple Boy. Uh Dan Williams, I would could I would consider doing art commissions, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'll I'll do them. Does that make sense? I'll consider it. But I don't know if I'll do them. Like I said earlier in the stream, I, I I'm not feeling the creative flow, the creative juices in terms of drawing. I've been stuck on getting my anatomy and fundamentals right, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I want to draw, though. You know what? I, I probably should just ask, what should I draw and get the creative juices flowing again? Big Fat Poem. I don't even know how to pronounce that at this point. Sorry about that, but thanks for three bucks. And he just sends a, a, a little weird emo fist bump. Thank you for the... <laughs> Apple Boy, thanks for ten... Oh. Yep, Apple Boy, thanks for for ten bucks. Looking forward to your PX Trypticon and Starscream reviews. I know Triton left a bad taste in your mouth, but these two figures should hopefully restore your faith in them. Believe me, they have. Now, if you want to know what next week's review is, <sighs> all right, that's all you're getting for now. Uh, I think uh, I'll show them off a, a bit later in the stream. Okay, if you, if you guys are enjoying yourself, thank you very much for that. If you guys are enjoying yourself so far, feel free to leave a like on the stream. It definitely helps this, the channel to get seen. You know, I, I love Jobby too. It's just where I get to hang out and chill. I don't got to talk about toys and shit. I love talking about toys, but not all the time. I got other stuff in my brain too. All right, let's move on to the third letter. 
Got to give some love to the to the normal chat real quick. Candace Huffman. Yay, it's Trypticon. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, Chen from Las Vegas. And it says swivel here and not a furry. Wow, those, those are not a furry. That's something I haven't said in a while. And look at that. Got a, got a dank little Godzilla doodle. Is that in focus? No, it's not in focus. Is that in focus? I don't know. How's the, fo how's the focus, guys? How's the video? How's the audio? Let me know. All right. Let's see here. Sorry to tear up your artwork, Chen. Master Chen. Yeah, I, I forgot how to do that voice. I keep bringing it up. I did a, I did Master Chen in a Ninjago fan film. I forgot how to do his voice, though. It's been a while. Uh, blah, 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 what the f Oh, there we go. All right, we got more artwork that can legally be interpreted as a threat. I don't know what that is. Some kind of twisted OC. Good concept, I suppose. We got the letter here. We got a penny. You guys remember that meme? People donating to the <laughs> to the P.O. box. Oh, good times, good times. You know, you know this one's old, man. You know this one's old. From Jaden Chen. Hey, Javi, I have been watching your videos for a while to the point I keep saying... Zweezy. How are you going to write swivel here and leave the L out? The best part about the swivel is the L. We hold those. Keep up the good the good work. That, that's what he said. And the big old swivel here with the L attached. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like that. He says, uh, got hungry. Took a bite out of the paper. It happens. And he drew fan art for me. That's right. And, and a penny. Of course. Okay. So according to this letter here, this piece of artwork is a bendy... Fusion. Now, this could either mean that Bendy still has a dedicated fan base or this letter is old as fuck, and I'm going with the latter assumption. This letter is ancient. Well, that's the fun about the fail box. It acts as a little time capsule, and I believe that when we get to like the boxes, you'll see what I mean. These, uh, some of these are fucking old. Another Jobby logo? I. I, I no matter the quality, man. I love it when people draw my logo. It charms the hell out of me. And we got a bear guy. There we go. Little bear guy doodle there. That's cute. All right, all right. You know, I wear the glasses, so I hide the pain behind my eyes. Let's move on. Well, before we move on to our fourth letter, let's see. I see some super chats here. Thanks very much for that. Ugh. Let me let me pull the mouse the, towards here. I gotta get me one of those remote mouses. You know what I mean? Those those keyboards that I can just. I gotta get me one of those. But for now, I gotta lean in, get all intimate with you guys while I read some super chats. Mm. Yes. Seekers Blue nine seventeen. Thanks for five bucks. Do you plan on reviewing any more Studio Series figures? No. No, no, I, I don't. I don't think so. If I hear good things about uh, their Devastator, maybe. But then again, there's a third-party Devastator coming out. That shit looks sick. So I might go with that instead of the Studio Series version. K Noah, thanks for five bucks with Doom Eternal on the way. Yes, it's only fitting that you draw the H Doom interpretation. Interpretations, I say. Plenty of strange anatomy to not worry about it much. I might consider it. That, that might be a good prompt for me. Alex, how you doing, man? Thanks for $4.99. Jobby, do you have any suggestions for coloring shading? Every time I color one of my drawings in, it makes it look super flat and makes me a sad boy. I... Not any advice that I can give you at the top of my head. But who cares if it looks flat? You know, I'm only saying that because my coloring is also flat. But... Just... I guess just focus on, on the, the palette that you're using. Use colors that you like. If you really want to get into depth and shading on, on, and all that, look up uh, value. You know, value... Really, I, I suck at giving drawing advice. I'm sorry about that. I haven't drawn in a while. But <laughs> value and, and, and the, the grayscale chart, you know, that sort of thing. You look that up. 
I'm not the place to to answer. That. Okay, that that sucks. Let, let, let's just move on. Matthew Cable, nice for five pounds. Hey, Jobby, I've been a big fan since 2017. Keep up the amazing work. Also, what are your opinions on the potential Beast Wars movie being written? As I said on my Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, do so now, at Jobby the Hung. I am reserving my judgment and hype until I get more information. Now, I'm going to reuse some jokes I used in my Twitter thread, but watch the movie be about a bunch of cavemen. For all we know, that could be the case, you know. If it's something stupid like that, then I don't want to be disappointed. I'm not strong enough. I, I can't do this again. I, I can't do this again. So I'm reserving judgment and hype. There's potential there if they do it right. Hire me, Hasbro. Uh, Bo, Bo, Bo for gaming. Take for five pounds. And I can't see the comment. I guess I'll see the comment when the next Super Chat comes in. So thank you very much for that. Let's move on to our fourth letter <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Mr. Guzman 0513 Robert Downey Jr. is Optimus Primal oh my god I mean that would be funny but but no you gotta get Gary Chalk and David K come on David K at least David David K could do both of them not to disparage Gary Chalk but David K uh. Gary Chalk's awesome actually I love his work as Optimus Primal but get David K at least come on Get both of them. Fuck it. Gary Chalk's in the new Sonic movie. I, I saw him for like 0.5 seconds. So he's still doing stuff. Get him. Uh, all right. Next letter here from California. Let's open this up, baby. Why? And while I open it up, let's see what, what people are saying. Hey, uh, so, okay. Sebastian, incomprehensible last name, says I'm thick. You know it, baby. Mm mm mm. Emma Curtin, thanks for two bucks. And she just says, you're lovely, Jobby. Thank you very much. You're lovely as well. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. That's awesome. All right. Hold on. Uh... Sorry, I'm just checking for N-words. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> I got this little sticker pack here. That's awesome. I love that. That's Amethyst, as you can see. Amethyst from Steven Universe. And there's probably more characters in there, but first let me read this letter in a font that looks very threatening. I don't know why I always feel threatened by these, by these letters. I can't handle it. Dear Jobby the Bong, I wanted to write you at least one letter before you close your P.O. box so we get a time frame here. This is about a two-year-old I don't even remember when I closed my, my P.O. box now. It's probably one year ago. I wanted to write you at least one letter before you close your P.O. box. I already said that. I know, the, I know that you like Steven Universe 2. What are your thoughts on the last couple episodes from Diamond Days? Oh, I loved it. I rewatched it. And I like it even more. I know I know a lot of Steven Universe fans were disappointed by the, the series finale, but I thought it was just the perfect way to wrap up the, the show, to wrap up the themes of the show. The only thing that I wasn't a big fan of was the fusions that were revealed. I, I'm not a big fan of Sunstone's design uh, and Rainbow Quartz 2.0. They're better in future, though. Sorry, I got a little geeky there. Who is your fave new fusion and which reformed character do you like the most least? I love Obsidian. Obsidian is badass and foreshadowed to hell with the with with the statue being on the, the beach house the whole time. Uh, that's amazing. I don't like the song. I'm changing it. I'm getting scared. This is too spooky for me. I'm, I'm getting scared. All right, I like this song, though. Yeah, Obsidian is great. Uh, least... Uh, favorite or, or most favorite reformed character I like Paradot's little uh, Kamina glasses that's really cool uh, not a big fan of Lapis's pants though that sounded that sounds a little <laughs> wronger although it is true in both ways I like the dress better that's all I'm saying okay now that the show is basically tied all loose ends and talk about a season 6 what are you expecting they'll do well uh 
person from the past, Steven Universe Future, came out, and we are in yet another hiatus. Who would have expected, right? And I like Steven Universe Future so far. I like I like where they're going with it. I'm not gonna spoil it though for anyone who who watches Steven Universe, but I well, and hasn't seen Future, but I like the themes they're tackling right now. Kind of relatable. Uh, what are you expecting to do? Who is your favorite character? It can be a gem or a human. I like Per... Spino. Don't worry, I'm not going to start bitching about you doing more Gundam reviews, but I am going to start bitching that you should watch My Hero Academia if you haven't already. Well, guess what, person from the past? I love My Hero Academia, and I am caught up. Not with today's episode. Is there a new Hero Academia episode today? If there is, then I have to watch it after I finish up the stream. But I love Hero Academia. I've been... The art that they just wrapped up. Oh my god, overhaul, you fucking bastard. I'm glad what happened. Uh, <laughs> no, that was that was kind of harsh. Okay, but if you did, what do you think so far and expecting for season four? Keep up the good work with not only YouTube, but also singing best wishes, Jacob. Smiley face emoji. P.S. I used my typewriter to make this letter. Don't worry, I'm 19. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jacob, and thank you for those questions. I love just... Fucking rambling on. You guys like rambling on? If you like me rambling about bullshit, leave a like. Thank you. Let's see if we got some more super chats here. Joe Lee King 21. Joe Mama. Thank you. I love that name, man. Thanks for another Canadian $2. Hey, Jobby, any building Gundam project working on? Not currently, unfortunately. I... I just don't have the space. I don't want to get too much into it, but I just don't have the space or time right now. Uh, yeah, let, let's let's just leave it at that. I do want to get back into building model kits, though. Let, believe me. John, Tran, and painting. Let me clarify. I can build model kits whenever I want, but I want to paint them as well. I want to get back into that. John Tran, thanks for two pounds. Would you ever review Power of the Primes Optimus Primal? Maybe. Maybe. I'm surprised I didn't get in my P.O. box yet. Maybe it's one of these boxes. I don't know. But that's a cool looking figure. Greyhound Sniper. Thanks for two bucks. I'm sorry. I got a lot of phlegm. <laughs> this might be the last year of Jobby the Hong, guys. I might. <coughs> All right. Let's not go there. Uh, Greyhound Sniper. I do handle a lot of stuff from China. Thank you for two dollars, Greyhound Sniper. I bought a P Bandai kit of Double O, and thank you for addiction. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Rep Brown, thanks for five bucks. When's the next song, my guy? I don't know yet. I don't know yet, but I do want to make more songs with my buddy Civil. If you guys don't know who Civil is, check out Red Dress, Spotify, YouTube. Well, Swivel Man no Uta seems to be the fan favorite one, but I personally like Red Dress better. Just putting it out there. Thanks for subscribing, Ted Stanford. If I don't point you out, subscribing, don't take it personally. Sometimes I'm distracted by other things, as you can see. All right. Fifth letter of the day. Dominic Komanali. I probably mispronounced the hell out of that, but I don't give a shit. Let's open it up. And while I open it up, of course, let's give some love to the normal chat. Larflees King says, Swivel Man no Uta is the best song ever to exist. I can't argue with you there, man. It's pretty it's pretty epic. There we go. There we go. I see some I see some red dresses are better, and I agree with you guys, man. But but the the numbers the numbers seem to disagree. There's an American flag there with a little little jobby there. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Guess that means I'm American, which is true. Hell yeah, Red Dress. Can we get some Red Dress love? Yes. Go watch Red Dress after the stream is over. Go listen to Red Dress on Spotify, Pandora. Is Pandora? Yeah, Pandora. Wherever music is sold, Amazon Music, Apple Music, Red Dress. Come on. Can someone show it to Tommy Wiseau? Because I ain't going to do it. It's going to make me look a little desperate. Okay, I might do it because I am desperate. I want, I want, senpai, I want Tommy Senpai to notice me, you know? All right, this letter here. There we go. Very short, sweet, to the point. To Jobby Boy. Dear Jobby, my name is Dominic Im... I I'm... There's no apostrophe on that I'm there. I got confused. 
I'm from Pennsylvania and I am 13, so I'm not a big boy, but I don't care. And I have been a fan since early 2017. A lot of viewership came from 2017. I'm glad that some of you guys from 2017 stuck around. But the first video I saw of yours was a, a year before, and right? it was the live action. Dino I'm gonna stop doing that. Live action Dinobots review. Your videos were a real laugh fest for me, and I wish for more new videos. And I have a few questions. Ah, oh, damn! I thought it was dispersion relation playing for a second. I was gonna, I was about to pop off. Number one. What was your favorite video you made? My personal favorite is the Shin Godzilla SH Monster Arts. And I have to agree with you. Even though it's not my most... Well, thank you very much for that. Even though my SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla review is not my most well-received video, it is the most fun I've had making a video. I love how the end product came out. A lot of editing, a lot of time, a lot of love was put into that video. And if you haven't seen my SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla review, please watch it. It's not a typical toy review, but maybe you might get some, you know, uh, fun entertainment from it. Hopefully, uh, you know, that's what I hope to do. I hope to entertain. Okay, number two. What is the worst figure you had to review? Bullforms Gladius. I'm sorry, man. I gotta say it, like... Apologies to that one-man team with his can of Guinness, but Bold Forms Gladius is still on my shit list. I guess second, second place is uh, Figma Snow Miku, but that doesn't really count because that was a bootleg. Number three, do you have a favorite figure toy line? Right now, I'm on a third-party kick, man. Third-party Transformers. No particular line of third-party Transformers, but there's a lot of third-party companies. Unique toys right now really doing it for me even though i'm not a fan of the bayformers franchise not at all if you know anything about me uh the figures that unique toys are coming out with oh my god transformers gold standard you know oh my god i can't wait for dragoon by the way people keep telling me unique toys dragoon is out and yes i have seen like people make reviews of it but Mine isn't here yet. My copy isn't here yet, and I'm very excited for it to come here. All right, number four. What's your favorite anime? Personally, my favorite is the dub for DBZ Kai. All right, fair pick, even though I've never seen any DBZ material. Uh, favorite anime? You know, the more I think about it, the less I hate Evangelion. I <laughs> that's, a weird, that's a funny way to put it. But no, I, I think I really like Evangelion. Uh, if not for the show itself, for what it's saying and, you know, for the themes. and the, I, I did a whole podcast about it with my, with my brother-in-law, DJ Occult. If you guys want to go check out our podcast about Evangelion, we go way in depth to why I really like that show. So, you, you know, you go check that out if you haven't yet. That, Evangelion. Controversial, I know. Controversial pick, I know. I can't say it's my favorite anime, though. I, I, there's a lot of shows that I like better than Evangelion, but Evangelion is one that comes to mind right now. Madoka Magica. Hell yeah, I still like Madoka Magica. Haven't talked about it in a while, but I still like that show a lot. Devilman Crybaby. That's a good one, too. Um, Hero Academia. It's not over yet, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. Again! You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Thanks for the laughs. P.S. Sorry for the bad grammar. From Dominic, a longtime fan. Thank you very much, Dominic. And now, before we move on to our larger... Oh, don't want to dox anybody. Envelopes. Envelopes. Whatever you want to say. Those usually contain fan art, so I'm excited for that. Uh, before I move on to that, let me read some more Super Chats. Because I see that a lot of people... I've sent some super chats and thank you very much for that. Keep going. Proceeds go to. <laughs> I already used the cocaine joke in my hot rod review. Bo, bo, bo for gaming. Once again, thank you for another two pounds. A good, good guy is nothing without a good, bad guy. That's true. That's true. That's why Joker and Batman work so much because Batman's a good, good guy and Joker is a fantastic bad guy. Common writer Den O. Thank you for 99 cents. I need just 100 emoji. Der Derak Old Tirano. 
Thank you for two dollars with an R in the front. I'm not sure what currency that is, but thank you regardless. Jobby say Ka Ka Chao Sad Boy or Ka How do you pronounce that? C A I O Sad Boy. How do you pronounce that? Is that Portuguese? He wants me to say that in Shinji's voice. Can I just say that I'm a sad boy? I, I'm a, I'm a sad boy. I, I no no in, no intent tiendo of Brazil. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. Let's move on. Yes, Gaspar Reynoso. Thank you for five bucks. Which is your favorite review this year? Are you talking about my reviews or just someone else's review? If you're talking about my reviews, my favorite review this year, uh, the, the year of our Lord 2020. Uh, so far, so far, so far, so far, I like how my MP45 Bumblebee review came out. You know, the the skits and all that, Swivel Man coming out of the, the back of the couch, I liked how that came out. I, I felt that that was a good way to utilize all the characters that I have, if that makes sense. Not intrusive to the review, but still seasons the review a little bit. I, I, I'm sounded like a crazy person now, if I didn't already. Greyhound Sniper, thank you for two dollars. P.S. Swivel here. Ooh, he put a P uh, instead of a V on Swivel. I'm going to die in real life. Common Rider Den O, thank you for two bucks. Any thoughts on Ishuzoko reviewers? That's all I gotta say about that. Joe. <laughs> Joe App. Can we, does anyone get that? Anyone seen issues Ish, Ishu Zoku reviewers? I haven't seen all of that. I've just seen clips, but but some some spicy clips. I gotta say, Joe App. Thank you for two bucks. Have you ever watched the anime Zombieland Saga? No, I have not. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Mark Lund. Thank you for five bucks. And he just says box. And we'll get there after our three. Random envelopes, and that is a perfect segue. Let's get to our first one, and this one is from Frogo. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I see your donation. I can't see your comment. I'll wait for the next one to pop up. Thank you for uh, what the hell was I gonna say? I, I got I had a brain fart there. I w didn't mean to say thank you to the envelope. I meant to say from Frogo Two. I'm just checking for. Oh, never mind. I was going to show you the spelling of that, but there is an address in front of this envelope, and I do not want to dox anybody. Uh. Ah, yes. All right. Just double-checking if I missed anything. Nope. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm good. Some good artwork before I show you guys that. Let's read the letter first. There's the letter. Dear Jobby the Hong, a.k.a. Joe Daddy. I kind of like that. I don't think I've heard that before. That's not sarcasm, by the way. I don't think I've heard Joe Daddy. I want to say thank you for your work, and I'm a really big fan. Okay. You know what? Let's cut the bullshit. I'm, I'm trying to correct the grammar as I read it, but I'm going to read it as, as he wrote it. So... I apologize if this makes you sound dumb, but, I, but I'm sure you're not. I want to say is thank you, your work, and I really big fan your art, and I hopefully you like my drawing of Zaku Gal and Alien Chan. Just ca case you some reason and somehow like my art, you or people who are... This is definitely a Google Translate. Google, uh, like my art, you or people who are watch this. Can follow my almost dead is Tumblr. Oof. Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a big a big double O F for me. At Frogo2. Oh by the way, thank you for you made my day every time by your video or your artwork, but both ways work. PS, good luck on your work, and I hopefully not sound like a dick, but it okay you draw Zaku Gao or Alien by your art style. If you want to, just idea. If not, that's fine, I understand. And again, thank you so much and have good day or night. I swear this is how it's written. PS P, sorry for my writing, and I know my writing sucks, but I'm still big boy with my big boy pants. I don't blame you. English is probably not your first language, and I appreciate the sentiment behind your words. 
And now let's see his artwork, which is lovely. As he mentioned before, this is a Zaku girl. Which, why the hell didn't I think of that? That's cool. I like that. Except you're a coward for not making her an actual Cyclops. I'm just saying. And we have the alien girl. That looks nice. The, a the Xenomorph design lends itself to be moe -fi. Is that the word? Is that the right word? Or anthropomorphize is the West, the fucking dirty Western way of saying it, but moe -fi. It's a good, good design there. All right, thank you very much. What'd you say your name was? Frogo2. Follow his dead Tumblr, at Frogo2. Oh, rest in peace, Tumblr. Man, I miss my Tumblr, man. I was on a roll, you know? I blame the Tumblr porn purge for my lack of creative juices. After everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked, you know what I mean? After I, I couldn't express myself to the fullest, I just stopped giving a shit. I want to draw again, but man, Tumblr, why, why'd you do that? Goddamn Puritans. Now you left your filth on Twitter. But let's not get into that. All right. Let's see if we got more Super Chats while I was reading that. Let's see here. Mm, Strike Zero Freedom. Thanks for five bucks. 28 here. Been a fan since Master Grade Blitz Gundam. You got me into Gunpla going to work on Master Grade Strike version right now. Awesome. That is a great design. And I hope you have fun with it. Arc Dragoon. Thank you for $10. Take my money and buy toys for more skits. The Jobbyverse lore is needed. Oh, <laughs> I wish more uh, more people shared your sentiment. I would like to expand the universe, but I don't want it to be uh, too intrusive on the toy review, which is what most people are here for. So, I have ideas, though. I have ideas. Victor Hernandez just says, hey <laughs> Okay, let's open up the uh, second bigger envelope. And this one is from Michael Lopez from Florida. All the way down there, goddamn. All right. Ah, Jesus, I hope I didn't damage this, whatever it might be. I'm just kidding, that's not the only thing that's in there. Don't be silly. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a photo. I thought it was a drawing for a second. That shit looks awesome, though. Oh, oh we got some... We got some... Talent over here. Alright, hold on. Check this out. Before I move on. There's the letter. We got a cool-looking sketch of Hamura there with uh, Madoka's bow. That is cool. Good handwriting too, I gotta say. Compliments. Compliments also. I forgot to show you the rest of my Steven Universe stickers from that uh, previous letter. So let me just do that real quick before I move on to this person's letter. Ah! Tape is stuck. Here we go. Oh, that is nice. We got Amethyst. Lapis. Garnet. Pink Rose Quartz. <laughs> Is that a spoiler? Fuck it. I, I don't care at this point. Jasper. And we got Connie. No, Steven. Yeah. Just like the convention appearances, am I right? Zach Collison is a busy boy. All right. Let's get to this letter that is unrelated to these stickers. Just wanted to show you all that. All right. Hello, Jobby the Hong. I met the suit actor for the 2000 series Godzilla and remembered that you mentioned that its design was your favorite. That's right. That's one of the movies that I haven't watched, but I do really like Godzilla 2000's design. I got this signed at a convention that he had shown up at and thought you'd like it. By the way, when he had read your name, he laughed. Cool. Does he, does he know me? So congrats to making Godzilla laugh. Anyway, this is meant to be a quick note, so my handwriting is ass. No, it's not. I also don't feel like writing a lot, lol. Anyways, here is a quick five-minute, actually three, sketch of Hamra, which I showed you already, and it's really nice. 
If you want an actual artwork, I have an art Twitter at Kanochi underscore. If you guys can see that, I might have to check that out for myself. I think this guy might make some good stuff. By the way, I've been a fan for a while. I was introduced to your channel back when your Vox Aura figure review was a few weeks old. I have been watching since. Wow, that takes me back. <laughs> back. I said back because I just said Vox. That takes me back, boys. Man. You know, fun fact about the Vox Aura review. The Reveltech Vox Aura review, if any of you guys remember that. That is the first time that I showed up on camera with the Batman mask. That is where that is introduced. Bat Jobby is introduced in the Revotech Vox Order Review, and you heard it here first. So if you, if any of you crazy people wanted to make a Jobby lore chart, there's a little piece of the puzzle there. All right. Yeah, you guys probably don't have the time for that. I barely have the time for that. And here's the photo in question, and that is an awesome photo. I love that a lot. And I believe it's autographed by the guy. What's the actor's name? The letter never mentioned the actor uh, for this guy, but I believe this is a si uh, actual signed photo. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for that. Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, who's this and what says says hands up if, if y'all like bre I like bread. Thanks. Let's see. Direct O Tirano. Thank you for another $2 with the R in the front. Still don't know what currency that is. But he says, I love you, Jobby. I am the guy who drew Ava Jobby. I, th I love Ava Jobby. I spit a little bit. Thank you for drawing that. That is great. I love this so much that I put it in my at, at the end of my video. I forget what video I, I put it in, but... But yes, I love that picture. Thank you for drawing that. That was amazing. And if you guys wanted to uh, wanted to be featured in my toy reviews, you go ahead and tag me on Twitter. Mostly Twitter. I occasionally check Facebook and Instagram, but mostly Twitter. If you guys are artists and you want to be featured on, on Jobby the Hong, tweet out your artwork, man. Tweet out your artwork. At Jobby the Hong. And K Noah with $5. Thank you. Have you looked into Iron Factory figures? They're cheap and space friendly. I recommend the DJD, the Decepticon Justice Department, or Bruticus. Uh, yeah, I I've I've looked into them. I prefer my figures to be a bit bigger. I know space-wise that's not practical, but I like it when my Transformers are on the larger size. Uh, Iron Factory, if you guys don't know, they produce uh, more legend scaled figures, so they're like, well, they're practically mini cons, but a little more complex than that. Uh, they look cool, though. They look cool. Okay. Last envelope. Before we move on to the boxes. Now, this one is from Rodriguez from California. Yeah, it just says Rodriguez. There's no first name or last name. Just Rodriguez. It's like Prince. Okay. Oh, that sucked. That was a sh that was a shitty opening. Uh, Hayden Bell says the Godzilla suit actor is named Sutomo Kitagawa. All right. Well, I got an autograph picture from Sutomo Kitagawa. That's awesome. Uh, Kronos asks, "What do you think about robots in disguise?" I like the one from two thousand one. <laughs> I, I haven't seen any uh, new Transformers media besides the Bumblebee movie, so I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with that. I mostly keep up with the toys. Jesus, this thing is struggling to get out. All right. Okie dokes. We got a lot of papers here, as you can see. Some good stuff so far. Oh, man. It's like scotch tape together. Not a good idea. Get rid of that. I don't, I don't want to tear it, though. Whew. Okay. Oh, nope. Nope. That. All right. Wow. Big brain. Big brain move to tape your papers together, guy. God damn. And you can already tell there's like some good stuff in there. But, man, I, I, it's like I have no choice but to destroy it. Let me bring out my knife here and let me cut the tape instead of tearing it off. There's my knife. Alright. 
son of a big brain indeed there we go let's separate let us meticulously separate these papers this is what you came here to see right me dealing with do you, do you see what i mean here like this guy taped shut a stack of papers who does that especially when you got an envelope i've already got bad taste in my mouth <laughs> from this guy i'm sure he means well but goddamn who would do that? Who would do such a thing? You know, if my if I had uh, another P.O. box open, this would be one of those moments that a bunch of people want to replicate, just to fuck with me. <laughs> I don't mind it though; it makes good content. Okay, there we go. Finally, I separated all the papers. Don't want to. I don't like this song. I don't like the song words. <laughs> It reminds me of surprise egg unboxings, and that's not what we do here on this channel. Big boys only, you know. Big boys only. Candace Huffman, why are you why are you in a in a rush, baby? You say you better hurry up. Why? What's the rush? What's going on? All right. <laughs> Let's read this letter. We just chilling. Man. We just chilling. Hey, Jobby two, come on. Fail box stream. I got no editing to help. I got no editing power to make me funny. So you just kind of have to deal. And uh, you know what? I I'm glad that, that people are sticking around. I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate uh, that you're enjoying this so far. And again, if you're enjoying the stream, if you like what you see right now, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to Drobby2 for more shit like this. <laughs> so. Dear Job. Oh. Oh, there's a very important detail. This one is actually dated. It is from November of 2018. Oh, oh shit. Butterfingers. Whew. Okay, this is an old one, man. Two years old. My name is Matthew Rodriguez, and I am 13 years old. So, we're using my math powers. He is 15 now. Still not a big boy. Ooh. I can't remember when I started watching your videos, but I have been watching for a long time. The first video I watched from you was your Godzilla minifigures review, and I have liked your content since. I appreciate it. I don't really like that video that much. It's not my best, but, but thank you. I wanted to send you some of my toys, but my parents didn't let me, which I understand. But I hope you like my art and stuff that I found on the internet, and it's fine if you don't. I also hope you have fun with these questions. Number one, do you play any instruments? And if so, what is your favorite one to play? And if not, what is your favorite one to hear? That's an excellent question. Uh... I occasionally play the piano. I'm not an expert or anything like that, but I can. I, I'm like very slightly competent at the piano. I, I can't do any like crazy impro improvisations or anything like that, but I, I can play it somewhat. Specific songs, you know. Uh, uh, fa and I don't know if the vocals count, but I, you know, I like singing. You guys should know that by now. Uh, yeah. All right, and I like you know I, I like piano I like I like trumpet I like hearing the trumpet I like a bit of sax sometimes I like I like jazz you know I like jazz that's my that's my shit. Number two, what Transformers franchise would you like to see get a masterpiece line? For example, Transformers Animated or Transformers War for Cybertron Fall of Cybertron. Transformers Animated that would be an awesome line of MP figures. Unless the car knows how to keep it in their pants and you know don't get too crazy with with the the back kibble, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Leave that hashtag if you know what I'm talking about in the chat right now. But tra MP Transformers animated figures sounds like it could be cool. If not official line of figures, then a third party line. Transformers animated just needs more love, you know. And for War of Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, yeah, Takara doesn't need to handle the MP side of that because we got, and, and I'm looking at it right now, we got third party companies on the scene. Planet X. They're doing good work with that. Number three, what do you think of SH Monster Arts, Wolf Predator, and Warrior Alien? They look cool, but I believe they're out of print, so they're prohibitively expensive right now. I could be wrong about that. Number four, what Godzilla films have you seen, and what is your most favorite one? Well, I've already mentioned my uh, Godzilla movies that I have already seen. You know, Shin Godzilla, original, and the two American ones. Uh, my favorite one's gotta be... The original. I still like the original the best. Second one is Shin Godzilla, that's for sure. 
I really do like Shin Godzilla though. I don't know. That could it might be like by a slight margin. Could be kind of a tie there. I I do like Shin Godzilla a lot. I also saw the first part of the Godzilla anime trilogy. Was not a fan. Ugh. Probably it gets better with the two other ones, but goddamn, that first one was was tedious, man. Jesus, talk about talk about exposition. My God, like we get it, dude. You hate Godzilla. You don't have to say it like fifty thousand times. Gen Urobuchi, you disappointed me that day. Uh, number five. What do you think of Billy Joel's music? If you heard his music before, I love Billy Joel, man. You know, Dodger from Oliver Oliver and Company. <laughs> yeah, Billy Joel, he's great. Number six, what do you think of 40s music? I'm, I'm not really good with my, my time frames, but like 40s music, is that like Fred Astaire? I like Fred Astaire. That's probably older than 40s though. I like jazz. Let's just say that. All right, let's check out his drawings. We got a Fall of Cybertron Grimlock there. Nice colors. I love this design. And we got Dinosaur Mode there. We got a random little square back there. I don't know what that's about. Who? What the hell is this? Whatever this is. Oh well, you know, it's obviously not by him. But it's a great looking design for what looks to be a Beast Wars Galvatron. That ah, woof. That's like a mixture of the Transmetal 2 Megatron with Galvatron's design features and Transmetal 3. Dragon wings. That is that is awesome. Who did this? Does anyone in the chat know who drew this drawing originally? That's that's great. And we got line art of G1 Megatron. Really crisp, clean line art. Again, obviously, uh, this kid didn't do it, but it is cool nonetheless. Probably from like a coloring book or something. Oh! Oh, there was two people! There was two people! Okay, so this is one person, and this is a second person. Oh, check out, and check that out. I love that. <laughs> that's good. Does, it, does anyone remember what video that's from? Come on. Come on. Comment in the chat. Does anyone remember what, what that's from? Alright. Alright, this is from, I assume this is the, the kid's brother. So... Javi, I love your videos and they make me so happy and my parents look at me and my brother like we're crazy and we laugh like complete idiots while we watch your videos. I get pretty sad when you take short breaks or when your videos aren't on my notifications. God damn it, YouTube. Your wacky edits always make me feel like I can't breathe from laughing too hard. I wish I could send you a toy, but unfortunately I'm broke. I also wanted to know if you knew how to play Magic the Gathering because I love to play. Sincerely, Brandon Rodriguez. I've never played Magic the Gathering and I honestly thought that was a Yu-Yu card on first glance. I'm I'm a complete uh, pleb when it comes to card games. And it, yeah, he just says, "P.S. Have a magic card of you. That, that's amazing." <laughs> yeah, I love that. Well, Rodriguez brothers, Matthew, Brandon, Rodriguez. I hope you feel the same way about me as you did in 2018. Probably not, if I'm being realistic. But you know, I hope you're still out there watching, laughing. Let's move up. That was our last envelope. We're finally going to get to the boxes. Sorry to keep you waiting. But before we move on to the boxes, let me read some super chats. Because we because they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop. Coming and they don't stop. Um, Kenneth Johnson, thank you for $5. No, and he leaves no comment. Dadak O Tirano, thank you for another two dollars with the r in front of it i still don't know what currency that is you some of you probably already answered my question but i just can't i i, I missed it uh did you know the figure fortress maximus it's huge yeah i've heard of it oh actually my uh a long time ago my cousin had it yeah that, that thing was big probably not as big as what i'm looking at right now uh gas gaspar reynoso thank you for two dollars when is the next music you'll make? I don't know. But I hope it's soon. Uh, Arc Dragoon, thank you for another $2. Jobby, play Fly Me to the Moon in a skit. I love to, but copyright. Yeah. 
Um, do you guys remember my Parfum Ray review? Does anyone remember that? You know, the, the chibi-fied Ray with like the, the big leg, the thick, the thick hips. That video is not making any money because I used two seconds of Cruel Angel's thesis. Thanks, YouTube. Yeah. So Fly Me to the Moon would get me ultra demonetized if that is a thing. It would get me even more demonetized than, than two seconds of Cruel Angel's thesis. So if you're wondering why I'm using less licensed music and more royalty-free music, they're backing me into a corner, man. They're backing me into a corner. Two, two seconds of Cruel Angel's thesis. Bam! No money. That, the, the, the money is theirs. Oh my goodness gracious. Fuck off. Okay, let's move on to our boxes. And our first one... Okay, I think I might have fucked up with my box selection. Uh, this... <laughs> okay. Hey, yo, thanks for that. Okay, uh, I'll, start, I'll read the Super Chats again after I open this one. Okay, yeah, I did fuck up with my box selection. This is something I bought. <laughs> this is not... <laughs> This is not from the P.O. Box, but you know what? It's here, and I'm gonna open it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> this is something I bought. <laughs> All right. <sighs> what am I doing? Just fucking open it right here. got anime anime <laughs> and hey look at that more anime yo that's right i bought this there's a fig figma bakugo figma katsuki bakugo kachan from my hero academia so yeah you know what? i have deku deku's in storage right now in box i haven't opened it up yet so you know what might do a double review Ba uh, Deku and Bakugo. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would, would watch that. Because I know the algorithm would, would hate the absolute shit out of it. But, uh, but I like Hero Academia. So there you go. Figma Bakugo. Not from any fan. I, I bought that figure. Okay. Let's... Let's, let's, let's read some more. Super Chats. Strike Zero Freedom, thank you for another $2. Have you checked out New Gundam Breaker PS4? No, I don't have a PS4. Steady Albatross, thank you for 5 bucks. Do you think you'll ever review Madokami or Devil Hamura? Now, the thing about those figures, at this point, the... Is someone trying to open my door? At this point... <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted a little there. You got paranoid. At this point, the wait for those reviews, uh, Ultimate Madoka and Devil Hamra, has been so long that anything that I do with those videos is bound to disappoint. And I don't know, this is my conundrum, right? This is my conundrum with those figures. Do I review them straight on as a figure? You know, straightforward toy review with jokes sprinkled here and there. The... the the painting and the sculpting and the soul gem is amazing, or whatever I said in those videos. Or do I do some grand thing with a skit and the lore and make it blow it out of proportion? I don't know. I don't know what what would what do you guys want at this point for people still waiting for the Figma Madoka reviews to end. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Give me some ideas, right? You guys want a straightforward review or you guys want fucking cringe? All right, let's move on to our next box. <laughs> and while I bring out my next box here. That's, uh... Okay, yeah, I, I see. I see some people saying... <laughs> I see some people saying lore and cringe and shit. You know, people... <laughs> yeah, you know, I like... I enjoy the fact that people do like that stuff, you know, the lore stuff and the the cringe. I like making it. It's really funny to me. Uh, yeah, I'll think of it. 
I'll, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, may, maybe those, maybe those two Monica reviews will be something lore related. I, I don't know. Okay, our next box comes from Amazon. There's no name attached to it, but I assume the name is gonna be. Well, I got itchy a little bit. I assume the name is gonna be inside the box. So let's open it up. Okay, we got another one of these Amazon bags. A nice solid box here. That makes me excited. I love me a good box. That can be taken out of context, can't it? Leave that there. And we got an envelope with the receipts. Oh my god. Okay, yep. This one, this dates it. Because this one says, Merry Christmas, my beautiful son. Daddy Chris has brought you a little gift. Oh, it's Chris Herrera. I haven't heard that name in a while. Sad to see the fill box is disappearing, but you got to do what you got to do. Love the channel. Hope you had a great year. Lots of love, Daddy Chris Herrera. And this one is from Christmas of 2018. Oh, my goodness. So I guess I did close my P.O. box two years ago. Wow. And I still haven't opened up all the packages? What, am I crazy? Okay. Let's open this shit up. What did I get for Christmas? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. A jack of floss nipping at your nose. If it's something that I have already, I'm gonna be. I don't know. It'd be kind of funny. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. It is something that I have already. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy Chris. But, uh, not only do I have this figure, I reviewed it. Uh, in a video titled, The Best Mecha Godzilla. I, I don't know why I decided to title my videos, uh, like that in a, in a period of time. That was pretty cringe, wasn't it? But yeah. I reviewed this figure already. If you guys haven't seen this video yet, uh, go check it out on the main channel, Drop the Hung. Thank you. Now I have two copies. Giveaway? I don't know. Uh, yeah, can we get... <laughs> this is so sad. Can we get... Can we get... Uh, can we get the... Uh, F? F, please? Thank you. Okay, if we got some more Super Chats here. Before I move on to our next box. Steven... Sim Rag, thank you for five pounds. Today, Wales beats Italy 42 to zero in the inaugural match of this year's Six Nations Rugby Championship. I'd love Jobby to congratulate the Welsh team. Omedeto, Yindidu. Thank you. Thank you. Oi. Oi, Mike, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that, that's enough of that. Well, congr congrats. You know, congrats. I don't, I don't know what the hell any of that meant, but hopefully I didn't just support someone horrible. Let's move on to our next box. I don't watch sports. Can you tell? All right. Yeah, that's sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, Baka TNK. That's sure to piss off someone somewhere. Yeah, I, I don't know, but oh well. I guess that's offensive to someone. That's probably... Uh, let's see. Okay, this one comes from New York. No name, though. Just got to figure out how to open this thing. How do I box? I don't know how to box. I don't I don't know. I don't know. A lot of goddamn tape here. But tape was never an issue for me. I have cut through so much tape. Okay, there we go. It's one of those. One of those boxes. I gotta open it this way so I don't dox anybody. Whew. Oh, 
Oh shit! Oh no! I don't want the last. Uh, the last thing you want is to sit on your exacto knife. Son of a bitch. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit! Sorry about that. Slapped my mic a little bit there. Three D printing material. That might not be what that is, because the box is already open. There might be something else in there. Uh, but let's check. Uh, there's some papers here. Bound to be a good time. Probably one of them lay funny meme packages, you know what I mean? So we got letter. Art list. Wow, we got inventory here. And the artwork in question, I assume. Yep, 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 yep. I, t I see ya, I see ya. I've gotten a lot of these before. Let's do that. And uh, put on my boxer shorts a little bit because I'm feeling a bit naked down here. Alright, let's read this letter first. There one. There we go. Now look at that. Little, oh shit, little sketch there of, I assume that's Godzilla. Could be some nondescript dinosaur. I don't know, but, you know, looks cool. Hey, Javi, my name is Charlie, but you can call me Cheese. Hey, it's a better nickname than Javi, huh? I've been watching for a while, and thanks to you, I've been fighting against my depression and winning. Love to hear it, man. So since you're not a friend of mine, I decided to show support to you as a thanks for making my Wednesday and Saturdays brighter. Oh, wow. Okay, this one's old. Because this is when I uploaded two videos a week. I don't do that anymore, by the way. Just so we're clear. Saturday. I upload Saturday. No more Wednesday uploads. I, I can't do that anymore. Don't have the time. Don't have the energy. But yeah, this is this was back when I did two videos a week. I, I was a goddamn madman with no social life. But now, I'm still a madman. But I have some semblance of a social life. So there you go. I donate to your Patreon to put more splinters on the wood pile, so to speak, and I thank you very much for that. Also packaged in the small box is a kaiju I had made specifically for you. Feel free to name him. He's blind unless looking behind him and normally uses an EMP as echolocation. Have fun! Here is his concept art and some fan art I'd like. Critique! So there, we got blind kaiju. What should we name this guy? Chat, any suggestions on what we should name this blind kaiju here? Except he's not blind when he's looking behind him, which is kind of a weird concept, but I, I guess I can dig it. What should we name him? I want to see. <laughs> hey, Steven, I like I like no Aiju. Jeff? Jeff is good. Jeff is good. <laughs> Tommy, I like to Gustavo. Wow, wow. <laughs> Crumpton. <laughs> uh, England is my city. Yes, that's an old one. That's an old one, but a that's a oldie but a goodie. Blind Jew, no I. Yep. Damn, we got a lot of suggestions. I like Jim Scorsese. <laughs> Jim Scorsese. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now we got an art list from this guy. I'm sorry, I, I I'm sorry, Jim. This is Jim Scorsese you now. <laughs> I've this, I have spoken. Does anyone get that? Sorry for the. This is a pretty basic bitch reference, but you know I have spoken. I like I like that show. Come on, shut up. Art list here. We have a dragon, and that is indeed a dragon. Oh yeah, I gotta open this box too. After this though. We have... Dio. From critically acclaimed Chinese cartoon. Jojo's Weird Journey. We have Carnage. Woody Harrelson. The Joker. Very nice. I always like to see it. I love the Joker. Bold forms Gladius. 
girl. Oh, that's the last one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I ruined the dramatic impact. No, the first one is uh, uh, Armada Starscream Girl, which he's using uh, cues from my uh, uh, Starscream Girl design. That's cool. That's cool. I might I might have to take a crack at that. That's that's a not a bad idea, man. And then, okay, the, la the dramatic review. Bold forms Gladius Girl. <laughs> edgy. That is an edgy interpretation of a shitty toy. But I like it. All right. Now let's open up this box here. Can we get a like for Jim Scorsese, by the way? Thank you. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> That's what Chompy says. I fucking love that video. <laughs> All right. Let's open up this box with this 3D printing material box. Maybe it's not 3D printing material. We've got paper towel with unknown... So oh. Oh. Oh! Okay! Wow, wow, wow! Oh, shit. Alright. It's kind of heavy. There we go, guys. We got a 3D model of Jim Scorsese. Oh, I love him. That looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's very unrefined in terms of, you know, the, the texturing and all that. But I think it adds something. It kind of looks like scales. Oh, he's got a scar. That's edgy. He's got a scar there. That's probably why he's blind, right? Jim Scorsese. He's blind unless he's looking whew, behind him. Huh. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much for that. Oh! Oh, you guys ready for some cringe? Now, before we get into this next box that I, I'm, I'm getting a radioactive response to that. Before we get into that, let me read some more super chats. Let's see. Chompy, thanks for two bucks. Good to see you. And he says, I'm here, and so are you. That's right. Team TRPT, thank you for two dollars. Any plans on reviewing Studio Series Shockwave? Nah. Cyber Knight Mickey, Mikey, thank you for 50 SEK, whatever currency that is. I, I, I'm not sure, but I remember your name. Hi, Jobby, been a fan of yours since 2015. My... 15. My favorite was the 24-inch Godzilla 2014 and have it in my hands. That Kiryu was the first Kiryu by SH Monster Arts. Hell yeah. That's just good. Thank you very much for that. And we got <laughs> we got Azula Beifong. That's a weird ship, but I, I could kind of dig it, I guess. With $2, I can't see their comment, though. But Azula Beifong. Weird. <laughs> Alright, I'm an Avatar fan. Let's get into the this next box. And you're going to see how old, how far back the P.O. box can get. Right? Because check this out. I don't want to dox anybody. So I'm going to... Wait, just checking the addresses here. There it is. Here we go. Wow. Wow, that... That meme belongs in a museum. You guys remember when that thing was funny for like five seconds? Holy shit. <laughs> wow, wow, we wow. That... What a time. What a time. The meme economy was tanking. Oh, I'm glad that's over, right? No, it's not over. The memes are still shit. <laughs> Let's open this up. Uh, how the fuck do I attack this? I I I forgot to freaking read the name. Azuri Sword. Ooh. Not only is he a meme lord, he is an edge lord. I saw some super chat there. I didn't quite catch the number, but thank you very much. Yeah, Az Azuri Sword. Wow. Edgy meme lord. Let's uh. My favorite part of the fail box is when Jobby cuts a box and he grunts every time he, he makes a cut. Eh. I don't know why I do that. This is just a habit that I have. Uh, like that, you see? I, I, I didn't even think about that. I just did it. I don't think. I just do. How do you think my channel got off the ground? 
Who knew toy reviews would be a good idea? Are they even a good idea? I don't know anymore. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> oh shit, this thing is... Some adhesive... Ah, packing peanuts! My favorite! Yippee! Yippee! Shit. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Gonna have to clean this up anyway. Oh, it's not that much packing peanuts anyway, but... We have... A folder of... A lot of stuff. Okay, we'll be taking a look at, uh, at everything in here. I don't know what the what the hell. We got we got a note that says "Forgive me." All right, we'll take a look at that. We have a. Hey, is this real? Hell yeah, the Lego Movie on DVD. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I gotta fully admit, I haven't seen it. Everything is not awesome. I haven't seen this yet, so I, I might as well. I'll probably watch it tonight. <laughs> like I got anything to do on Saturday night, right? By the way, how's everyone's Saturday going? Mine's going pretty good, as you can see. Oh, shit. We got uh, Into the Spider-Verse figure, Miles Morales. That's nice. I like that. Love that movie. Don't really like the figure, though. There's barely any articulation there. Uh. Oh, what the hell? Project Fiora League of Legends. Now that's a cool looking figure. That's nice. I don't know what League of Legends is though. I, uh, my, my friends are all into that stuff, but I, I don't know. What is game? What is game? Uh, Cyberverse Windblade. That's nice. We got... This, is, this has got to be like my fifth... Power of the Prime scrap. No, I keep getting this figure. <laughs> hey, but I but I like how it looks, alright? I haven't opened any of them, so... I have a whole bug army. Bug army. We got a Hot Wheels... Spider Ham... Van. <laughs> Gundam Heads? Yeah, that's what they are. Gundam heads. It says machine head on that. Oh, this, this box is full of stuff, man. Kind of digging it. Another Spider-Verse Hot Wheels. We got a uh, Spider... Or Penny... Penny Parker's car. I didn't know she was old enough to drive. Look at that. And we got... <laughs> oh, shit. That thing is stuck. A disassembled model kit. Does anyone know what that is? What model kit that is? I think we'll find out soon. More packing peanuts. Not gonna throw them out. Oh, oh, a bag, a bag with packing peanuts, and what looks to be a bumblebee keychain. <laughs> that is a very clunky keychain, but kind of cool, actually. Yeah, Bumblebee keychain. Very. Oh, it's oh, it's articulated. Nice. All right, Bumblebee keychain. And we got a letter here that seems to be stuck. I'm probably gonna tear it. Yep, yep, I tore it. Oops, oopsie. Oh, we got something else. A bag of packing peanuts. Great. <laughs> great, 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 great. What else do we got? That's it. All right. Uh, let's check if there's an address here. Azuri Sword. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Check this out. That looks kind of cool. It just says letter. And it says uh, do a barrel roll. And I realized I just use Tide Pod colors. Wow. Funny, funny. Nick Fox for Smash. Good. Let's open this up. From Azuri Sword. Oh damn, Zentatious already coming in with the with the Gundam information. Gundam Seed Mobile Armor Ambius Zero. Alright. Well we're gonna we're gonna confirm that. 
We're going to confirm that when we get into that big green folder. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff, man. Woo! Long letter, too. Hope you strap in. Hope you're all nice and tight. We're going to read all of it. He starts with, Hey, listen, epic Zelda meme. My name is Azuri Sword, or at Gundam Volt on Twitter. And yes, I just stole your opening line because I do not have a dumb channel name joke like the ones on a typical Just Too Good video. I don't get that. Well, maybe except Shinji the Depression or Jobby the D-O-N-G. Things you can do online now, guys. A Vsauce pun. Bite me. Man, I, I, whenever people try to be funny through letters, I do not do it justice with my delivery. <laughs> I'm sure it's funny if you say it, but, but writing it and reading it out loud like I am, like a cynical bastard that I am, it just comes off as, as lay epic meme. Lay, ep lay, ep lay epic trying too hard. <laughs> All right, let's stop talking shit. I want to keep the sentence simple and clean. Congrats for four years of swivels and depression jokes. So this is probably, yeah, this is going to be, when was my fucking four-year anniversary? 2018. I wanted to send stuff for a while now, but since the fail box is closing soon, maybe this made it to the last video, hopefully. I must... Carry on, wear that void, and send stuff to you. I don't have a lot of toys to send you that I am willing to part ways with. Some are not cheap, considering I am nearly broke most of the time. However, I do have a crap ton of posters and some small toys. Some stuff are related to your channel. What they are based after and the relevance to your channel is listed on the next page. Please read the short description for each one. Oh, awesome. What is this? A loot crate unboxing, he says in parentheses? Or put those toys on a cake later with some candles. Fake cum. Pray to Madoka. Play Kingdom Hearts 3. Work it, flip it, and reverse it. Did what? <laughs> Did... <laughs> so ramblings of a madman here. Ramblings of a meme lord. I can now rest easy tonight knowing you got my package. Parentheses. If it did get to you in a timely manner. I suppose two years off is not a timely manner. As this will be my one and only contribution to your fail box. I do wish you would kindly consider reopening the fail box with a brand new P.O. box at a later date. Maybe. Of course, maybe then I should just run my own channel to do just that or whatever comes first. Seeing as the holiday season is fast approaching, I wish you, Jobby, and your family very Merry Christmas. Okay, Christmas 2018, that's where this comes from. Hope you get a Nintendo Switch soon. I bought one already. <laughs> but he says, maybe someone actually sent one already, the crazy bastard, whoever that is. Yeah, I already bought a Switch. I, I play Smash way too much. Byleth is bay. I would say, see you, swivel cowboy, but to quote a very saddened doctor from Doctor Who, I don't want to go. I got the Cowboy Bebop reference, but Doctor... Who? <laughs> Damn, epic joke. From a long-time viewer since the Figma Hammer Akemi review, Azuri Sword, formerly Mario37519 on YouTube, new channel from me in the new future, but cannot say when or what it will be caught. Not that anyone would care. There would be no trace of my yearning. Anyways, end of line. And is uh, and okay. P.S. Please consider reviewing all the toys you have gotten from the fail box videos for a month or more. You still have some work to do. No pressure. I would, but I have. A big bad toy store to please, and sometimes the stuff that I get in the P.O. box is something I don't want to talk about in that moment in time. That is the canon explanation for why I don't talk about fan mail that often, but I do open it on camera, so there you go. P.P.S. I know this isn't the right time to ask, but could you sing Life Light from Smash Bros. for the last video? I think it would be fitting for the last one. Please. <laughs> I play Smash a lot. If you guys haven't seen my Smash Bros. gameplay, I, there's some on, on this channel, actually. If you guys want to watch me get my ass bodied by my friends, especially Omar. Fuck you, Omar. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I love you, Omar. <laughs> but he's good at Smash. I'm decent. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm telling you, though, Byleth. Two of these. I like, I like her. I like Byleth. Um... 
Okay. Oh, the folder. That's right. Let's let's take a look at the big ass folder. We got another letter. Holy shit, this guy. You know, usually if this was an edited failbox video, I uh, that would be cut out totally. But this is a live stream, huh? No rush. What do you got to do? You're watching a Jobby Long stream. <laughs> we got all the time in the world, baby. Burger King crown? I gotta wear this. I have to. Hold on. Yo, thank you. I will be reading Super Chats after I take a look at the contents of this folder. How the fuck? Little kids can do this. Why can't I? The science is... is the science is too much for me. Oh my god. I have to... I literally have to... Do the biggest size that it can do. I got a big ass... Big boy head. There you go. I am the Burger King bitch. Alright. We got a sheet of panda stickers. Very cute. Hey, guy who said it was Gundam Seed Mobile Armor, whatever the hell, you were wrong. It's from Gundam 0083. I thought you guys were smart. I'm just kidding. I didn't know that either. Oh, that's cool. Got a Batman comic. They got Dr. Hugo Strange back there. It's a Legends of the Dark Knight Prey. Cool. I like that. All right, this looks not safe for work. Oh, it's not. Just, just anime. Some anime that I don't know. Anime girl. What anime is this? Is there any indication? No. But it is a Christmas themed thing, so that's cute. What anime is that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not getting answers from the chat. Um, let's see. Another poster. That's right. He did mention he had a lot of posters. Oh, you guys should like this. Look at that. Lego Marvel. Oh, uh, it's not Lego Star Wars. Never mind. You guys probably hate this. That looks cool. Is that a good game, by the way? I, I played Lego Star Wars, and that was like the only Lego game that I played. That was fun, but... The rest of the games just kind of repeated the formula, didn't they? And we got a... Pokemon X and Y poster! I actually played Pokemon X, but this is... In oh, sorry, I smacked my mic. In terms of... Uh, that, was my, that was my starter, by the way. Fennekin. In terms of my attachment and relationship to Pokemon, this these are the games that where it started going downhill for me. I gotta be honest. I did not even bother with Sword and Shield. Uh, Sun and Moon was a bit disappointing, and Pokemon X was kind of that that beginning of it. And no, it's not because of the 3D graphics. I love the 3D graphics. It's just too damn easy. It's just too easy. The original games, I, I, I struggled to, to beat that shit. It was great. It was great when I beat it. But that... Man, get out of here, man. So, and, and Sun and Moon was like the worst offender. Because holy crap, that game was too easy. What we got here? I don't know what... Uh, I don't know what anime that is. But there you go. It's another poster. Oh, so much anime. So much anime in here. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice one. I know these people. I know these people. <laughs> there you go. That's the Madoka cast. Very cool. Got some... Uh, uh, the, the, the Kodi, Ko, Korea? Korea? That's racist. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I formally apologize. Borderline not safe for work, but that's okay. Got that. And behind it, we got something I, I much prefer. That's Ryoko. Bikini Ryuko poster. I might hang that up somewhere. I actually like that a lot. Ooh. Ooh, I like that a lot. That's a, that. I know this person. I know this person. I don't know who... 
I don't know who these are. I don't know who this is, but I know who this is. Hell yes. Hell yes. And oh my goodness gracious. Holy shit. A big Zelda thing. I can't even get it in frame. Look at that. Wow. Holy crap. Twilight Princess. My first ever Zelda game. I got into the series a bit late, but you know, I, I enjoy it. And then the back here, we got an original Zelda poster that looks nice. Wow. I always said, what, well, not in this channel, but just in my personal life, I've always said that they should make an Zel uh, animated Zelda movie in a Ghibli style, if not Ghibli themselves, because I think that would be a, a great fit for the franchise. Yeah. I still haven't played Breath of the Wild, though. I have a Switch. And I love Zelda, but I haven't played Breath of the Wild for some reason. Okay, I was sitting on the folder. Alright, that's all the contents of the folder. And now, we got a letter. This box is taking a while, <laughs> but I hope you're enjoying yourself. If you are, leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment and give me engagement, please. No, it's, no, it's nothing. Uh, alright. Alright. Oh, okay, I got you. So this is what he was mentioning. This is the inventory for, for everything. So I don't I don't really have to... Uh, should I read this? You guys want to hear Azuri... What's this guy's name again? <laughs> Azuri Sword, Azuri Blade. You guys want to hear his epic jokes about each item? Or do you want me to just move on to the last box? I want to see some... I want to see some interaction right now. Come on. What do I do? Do I read these? You want me to read these? And all the funny memes that he has to say about each thing or do I move on to the last box what do you think what do you think okay I see some yeses I see yes and I see next box please I see hello jobby hi there how do you two <laughs> I see uh all right <laughs> okay uh, all right the people the people have spoken I'm going to move on. Thank you very much, Azuri Blade Sword. God, why, why can't I remember your name? This was a great collection of items. A bit Azuri Sword, that's the name. A bit long-winded in terms of uh, wording and, and all that. Try a little too hard to be funny. Yeah, just just a little bit. I'm not, a, I'm not the funniest guy in the world, all right? But I, but I, I can detect when someone's trying a bit, a bit too hard. A bit too hard, even in myself. I... I I hate every one of my videos. Okay, before I, l I move on to my last box, let's read the Super Chats. Ugh. Let's see here. Okay, Azula Beifong. Now I can read the comment. Thank you for $2. Hey, Jobby, you're the best. Thanks for being amazing. Thank you very much, Azula Beifong. Red Brown with $20. Thank you very much. Here's 20. Take your girl out on... I don't, I don't have... I don't have one. Who are we kidding? We both know you ain't got no girl. <laughs> so order yourself a pizza and, a, and have wank. Peace, dog. Thanks for 20 bucks, man. I had a girl. And then I didn't have a girl. Rocky Howler, 199 She's in my basement. 199 pounds. Thank you, Rocky Howler. Hey, back lives boy. Thoughts on Beast Wars movie? Well, I mentioned that early in the stream, but long story short, I'm reserving judgment and hype until we get more information. The movie could be shit for all we know, so I'm not going to get too excited, but I like the idea. I like the idea. Make it fully animated. Come on. You don't need any live action element in that. Kibi or Kaibai, however you pronounce that name. Thank you for four ninety nine. I want to clap your cheeks. Will this get me demonetized? I all right. <laughs> Let's do Griffin Kershaw. Thanks for ten bucks. Wow, wow, I'm out of shape. That gave me a cramp. That, literal, that maneuver literally gave me a cramp. I can't read that comment, but thank you regardless. All right. Oh, just stretching a bit. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let us go on to our last box of the stream. Huh? 
Let's do it. Ah, shit. As a fan. It's just getting a bit hot in here, the lights, you know. You know how it be sometimes. Show business. Alrighty then, our last box. Sorry, I'm just I'm just taking a look at the chat right now. I'm just interested to see what, what you guys are saying. Uh, Galaxy King says King Jobby for Smash. I like that. You know, King K. Rule is my main. So if you guys wondered who I main in Smash, King K. Rule is a good cosplay, I, I suppose. Uh. Uh. Hey, co-creator. Uh, co-creators just coming in. They ask, uh, "Is this the last box?" Yes, it is. Um, but if you guys are just coming in, you could always watch the stream back as a video if you would like to. I occasionally do that with other uh, channel streams. You know, just leave it on the background while you're eating or or writing or. Fapping. Last box comes from Emma Curtin. Hey, Emma. Hell, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's open it up. All right, let me open it upside. No, no, no. I'll open it right side up. I'll just turn it around so I don't dox her. Thank you, Emma. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa, the tape's a bit thick. The tape is a bit thick. Knife is barely getting into it. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. Whew. I just snuggle up a little closer to y'all so I can see what you're saying as I open this box. Ooh, what do we have here, Emma? <laughs> Cheeseburger mug. Look at that. <laughs> That's kind of cool, man. I, I will, I will definitely drink whiskey out of this thing. I have a problem. Let me open it up. I want to see how it looks. Recently, my buddy Omar, a.k.a. Seville, you guys know him if you've been watching this channel, Jobby2, for a while. He recently let me try some uh, peanut butter whiskey. That shit was amazing. And I love peanut, bu bu peanut butter burgers. If you guys haven't had that, it might sound weird, but it's amazing. So I think pouring some <laughs> peanut butter whiskey. A bit of foam got into my mouth. Pouring some peanut butter whiskey into this mug and go gulping it up. I think that'd be a good idea. Or, or a terrible idea. Why am I thinking of whiskey in a mug? Like, beer usually goes in a mug. I don't know. Like I said, I just... Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's, let's go. There's another thing in here. There's a last thing in here. Okie dokie. Oh, shit. There's two. There's two things in here. Ooh, that is cool. Look at that. Samurai Darth Maul. Nice. And if you guys don't remember, I reviewed uh, the Samurai Darth Vader a long time ago. That was like a, some of the early days of the channel. So this would be a good counterpoint to that. God, I need to start finding the space to, dis to display some of these because that Darth Vader figure that I had... It's in box. I, I don't know where to put it. But that looks cool, though. I like that. And we got... That's a coloring book. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's a Batman coloring book. Cool. I love Batman. I love all these characters depicted in the back here. I am actually not looking forward to Birds of Prey. Does that make me a sexist? Uh... And there's some artwork here. Oh, and a letter. Ooh. That is some nice artwork, but I'm not going to show it just yet. I'm going to read her letter first. All right. Emma, the founder of the term Joblin. What do you have to say for me? Ho, ho, ho. Is Emma in the chat right now, or did she leave yet? 
because I'm reading her letter now. I'm opening her box. Don't, don't take that out of context. I never open someone's box without their consent. Okay. <laughs> Dear Hobby the Nong. Wow, that's a weird one. I'm 20 years old, turning 21 in February, so I'm a certified big girl, if you give a shit about that anymore. You probably don't remember, but I sent you that combining Voltron set way back in Failbox 7, so I look forward to seeing the review for it in 2031. Probably when it's going to get reviewed. Uh, since this is your final Failbox, here's a couple questions for you. Number one, have you ever considered putting together a quick two to three minute voice reel video for fans and potential employees for a quick and easy showcase of your skills? Because honestly, most people aren't going to sit through a 40 minute video. Uh, yeah, I definitely have considered it. Um, but then that means I have to sit through 40 minute videos just cutting out my parts. So yeah, you know what? I, 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 do, I do want to do that because eventually I do want to pursue voice acting as a career. I'm not the best actor, but I feel like I've got good vocal range. I just got to work on the acting part, you know? Number two, what are some dream voice acting projects you'd want to be a part of in your career? Uh, Transformers, anime, etc. Well, a lot of uh, fans, a lot, yeah, a lot of fan projects that I have been in, I've been cast as Starscream. So if I were, uh, if I ever got the chance to play Starscream in an official project, that'd be pretty sick. I, I like Starscream. I feel like I get him, you know? <laughs> after, after playing him a couple of times in fans projects, I feel like, I don't know, I identify with, with Starscream. There's something about him, you know? I, I'm not going to do the voice. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> uh, number three. What are some things that get you motivated to draw again after coming out of a bad artistic slump? Asking personally. Well, that's a very relevant question right now because I, I am currently in an artistic slump. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But how I'm trying to get out of it right now is just, you know, relearning my fundamentals, focusing on anatomy and and you know, building shapes and and just technique. Just practice getting a feel for the pen or pencil or whatever drawing utensil you'd like to use. Just getting a feel for that again. Uh, yeah. And I'm just waiting. I, I'm pretty sure there's a better way to get out of art slump. You know, I think I said before, just, just consume a lot of media that you enjoy. You know, read books watch movies, watch TV shows, get inspired, get inspired, or, or, you know, have a scroll through your social media, see what your favorite artists are up to, just, just get inspired, feel free to pick and choose and all that shit, no, don't trace though, don't, co you know what, no, actually, you can go ahead and copy, you can go ahead and trace, but just don't publish it publicly, use it for reference, use it for reference, okay, even though I'm sad to see you close the, the P.O. box, I'm happy to see your channel expanding into different things and your personal happiness increasing. When you're feeling down or the cancerous comments are getting to you, never forget how insanely talented, creative, and funny you are and how much your friends, family, and fans love you and your amazing channel. Keep trying new things, keep pursuing what makes you happy, and never stop being you. P.S. Wow, I'm gonna cry. You know... Uh, it's a good thing I'm wearing the glasses. P.S. I didn't draw the Madoka fan art. I just bought the line art at a convention and colored it. That's a disappointing end. <laughs> I thought you drew that. <laughs> Thank you very much for the kind words, Emma. Um, and I'm very familiar with your name now because you are a regular on the streams. It'd be ironic if you weren't here for the reading of your letter. But here's the, the line art that, uh, that she mentioned that is awesome. Wow. Spooka, Spooka, at Spooka underscore Spooka. That's who drew this. I'm going to have to look this up because that is a cool piece of fan art. Well, guys, it appears that I have quite the mess on my hands that I have to clean up. God damn it. I haven't ate anything today. And what time is it? It's five. Um, I'm going to read some super chats, answer a few questions, hang out for a bit, and then, you know, we'll call it quits. Huh? That was the last box. But... We got a lot of stuff to read, so let's do that. Uh, Griffin Kershaw, thanks for 10 bucks. Hey, Job, sorry if you already know this, but a while ago when you reviewed The Last Night Megatron, you didn't mention that his tusk can come together in the middle to make a mask. Could it? Well, okay, thanks for that, and thanks for 10 bucks. Yo, Emma! Did you just miss it? 
Thanks for two bucks. Did you just miss the the reading of your of your letter, the opening of your box? That was very nice words, Emma. Thank you very much for that. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I received your your line arts. I received the mug that I will drink from like a king. Hell yes. And I got the figure, of course, the Darth Maul figure. There we go. Look at that. Thank you very much, Emma. And uh, Griffin Kershaw says, uh, $2, thank you. He says, why can't you read the comment? It's like a, it's a, like a little crop there. I don't know how to extend it. It's, it's, I feel like a fucking boomer. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well. Oh, that was all the that was all the super chats. Um. Well, what do we do now, huh? That was all the boxes. I read all the letters. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna. Oh. Oh. Nozarashi seven. Thanks for two bucks. He just says, "Hey, you." Uh. All right. Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm reviewing next week, next Saturday. So look forward to that. Uh, yeah, let me go grab it. He's a bit heavy. You guys probably already know it, but you gotta... You gotta see how big this thing actually is. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. So, I did open... Holy shit. I did open the boxes for this guy in my hot rod review. My not rod review. Uh, and this is how he looks unboxed and combined. Look at that tail length. Holy crap. So, look forward to this review next Saturday. Ironically, it's not going to be that big of a video because even though this guy is hu huge, he's a pretty simple figure. So, you know, look forward to a fast-paced, edited review. And I see a few more Super Chats, so... Yeah, that plan Planet X Apocalypse, by the way. Part A and Part B. So these are actually two figures stuck together. Put them right here for now. All right. Griffin Kershaw, thanks for 10 bucks. On a scale from 1 to Eternal, how excited are you for Doom Eternal? Eternal plus 1, dude. Oh, my God. I, I fucking love Doom. Oh, my God. I should probably play Doom 1 on stream. Uh, before Doom Eternal releases because I would want to play Doom Eternal on stream for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my fail box stream. Leave a like if you like the stream. Leave a comment when this thing gets uploaded as a video and subscribe for more non-toy related content. Subscribe to Jobby 2, by the way. We're on Jobby 2, right? I haven't been streaming on the wrong channel this whole time. right? No, this is Jobby 2. I'm going to be playing some games. I'm going to be drawing occasionally. Maybe even doing some model kit building. But definitely games. Definitely games. I think I'm going to do Mega Man Legends 2. I think that's the next game I, I want to do. So, if, you, if that sounds interesting to you, look forward to it. And if you haven't heard of my main channel, Jobby the Hong, go check that out. Toy reviews, you know. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, guys. I will see you on the flip side. And thank and big shout out to everyone who donated to the super chat. Of course, just making sure that I didn't miss anybody. I did miss people. Hold on. Last minute reads. Dominique Valencia, thank you for four ninety nine. Hey, Jobby was watching some old vids and wondering what you did with the Boat Forms Megatron. Also, I take that you hate Beast Machines. Uh, Boat Forms Megatron is in box in my closet. Haven't done anything with it. As for Beast Machines, I just don't like the designs. I'm sure it's a good show. I don't remember. I, I watched it, but I don't remember it at all. Uh, I rewatched Beast Wars, though, and I can say that that has held up. I like that show a lot. But Beast Machines, I just don't like the designs. Uh, that's really my only complaint about it. And Fanboy Studios, thank you for four ninety nine as well. Question for you, would you consider being a special guest on a podcast? My buddies and I do. Send me an email, we might be able to talk about it further. Okay. I'll see you next time. Let me do a little side B. Leave a like if you get that. <laughs> 
All right. That's a little that's a little ad unfriendly. I got to do that. My my ass is is more ad friendly than than the front. 